two, three, four, five. Cameraman six. My name is Lawanda Hicks, and I have a question for you. How many of you enjoy Latin food? I do not do. Okay, well today you're in for a real treat because we will be discussing the foods and the diverse cultures of Latin American culture. We will talk about comfort foods for special occasions, comfort foods, and the meaning behind those foods. Did you know that the term Hispanic came from the 1970 census for Americans from Latin countries? Now let's jump right into those special occasions. Christmas, Feliz Navidad. During this special time of season, many Latin Americans like to enjoy what is known as haracha. Everyone say haracha. Haracha. Haracha is a beverage that is made mainly of moro seeds. Now that it has been Americanized, it is basically rice based. Halakha is another food for the holiday season. Everyone say halakha. Halakha. Halakha is a meat mixture mixed with raisins, capers, olives, and cornmeal folded in plantain leaves. Plantain leaves are banana leaves. Our next special occasion that many of us have each year are birthdays. Feliz cumpleaños. A traditional cake for this event uh, for birthdays would be tres leche cake. Everyone say tres leche cake? Tres leche cake. This is a cake translated into three milk cake. It's a moist cake and to this day not many people know where this cake originated from. Next, we will be discussing comfort foods. Oh, it just makes you feel all warm, doesn't it? <laughs> comfort foods are defined as foods reminiscent of your childhood. If you've ever walked into your grandparents' house and smelled the intoxicating aroma of food and hear the family in the background, well, that's menudo. And not the famous boy band of 1984. <laughs> but it is a soup that is prepared by the entire family for the entire family, where each person in the family has a specific purpose. Another comfort food are black beans, also known as frijoles negros. Everyone say frijoles negros. Frijoles negros. Frijoles Negros is a popular side dish that is served with lots of Latin American meals. You can either eat it plain, over a bed of rice, or as a soup. Sounds very yummy. Now we will discuss the reasons and the meanings behind these foods, which I know you're ready to know. Home, tradition, love, family, friendship, and acceptance, and also good health, which many of us all have. <laughs> In conclusion, this presentation today that we spoke about were foods for special occasions, such as birthdays, Feliz Cumpleaños, Christmas, Feliz Navidad, foods for comfort like menudo and black beans and the meanings of these foods. And always remember, food is our common ground and a universal experience. <laughs> now, time for the Q&A. Does anyone have any questions? Yes, sir. What can I do when the first lips is good? A tres leche cake can be bought at your local fiesta or any local Latin bakery. Okay. Next, anybody else? Have you ever made menudo? No, I haven't ne ever made menudo, but if you haven't made it, you can visit allrecipes.com. Yes, ma'am. What is your favorite Latin dish? My favorite Latin dish? Oh my God. There are so many, but. I would have to say the free all is me, girls. Okay. Okay. I would like to thank everyone today for being here for my presentation. And you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you much. <laughs>